Hey, yo, what's up guys? Zay here with another episode of Sage Experience. As I mentioned back in December, I went ahead and started a little bit of a fat loss challenge. It's just something that I've been wanting to try for a very, very long time now, but I've been trying to put on muscle as a priority and strength whilst being able to do my runs, being able to do my Muay Thai and my Olympic lifting. So that was a little bit of a challenging task. But today I'm gonna be discussing how all that's been going and exactly what I've been doing to go ahead and achieve the results that I've been getting, which have been pretty good in my opinion. So let's start off with what have I been doing? What have I been doing to go ahead and start losing some fat? And what have been the parameters of all this? So to start off, I started around December 27th because a friend of mine went ahead and visited me, my very best friend. And so that day I remember culminated on <laughs> eating some really good donuts, but I knew that that was gonna be the last treat that I was gonna give myself for a very long time. So I started off at a whopping 205, guys. Yes, 205 pounds. That's how much I was weighing in at. For those who don't know, I am 5'7", so that's not particularly all muscle if you catch my drift. So I obviously had a lot to lose, actually quite a bit of fat to lose, but I'm also by no means a small guy. And the target that was set for the next three to four months to hit is gonna be 175 to 180, which is very doable in my opinion. Again, this is gonna be a very gradual thing. I'm in no rush. I'm not doing any competition or anything like that. And this is to be done as a lifestyle. Like I, I wanna keep at that weight for a prolonged period of time. I'm not gonna diet or yo-yo diet and just lose the weight and then go back to 200. That's not the idea. To go ahead and reach that goal of 175 to 180, depending on how I look, whether I wanna put a little bit more muscle and then keep that weight for a prolonged period of time. So that's the idea. Well, I'll be very brief with this. And today is Thursday, the 27th of January. And it's been exactly a month since I started this challenge. And I am now 188 pounds and I've been fluctuating between 188 to 192 again this is due to a lot of things as I mentioned in a couple of videos before and if you haven't seen those I'll leave a card up here but basically this can be because of a lot of things it can be whether the climate that you live in is very hot or very cold so that'll definitely affect how much water you carry around how much you sweat all that that's definitely a thing how much water I've been drinking, how much food I've been intaking, how hard my workouts have been, how many steps I've been taking in, my cardio, like it can be due to a lot of things, guys. And I think people don't take this into account. So I've been very good at controlling these variables as much as possible. And so now I am finally down to that 188 and fluctuating between 188 to 192. I weigh myself in every morning because at that point I'm fasted, there's no water, no liquids. I do it in the exact same scale. Nothing, none of those variables change. And that's a good way to keep a consistent weight and to know that that variable isn't changing. Cause a lot of times people measure their weight on one scale and then go to another scale and they're completely off or they do it in the morning. And then in the afternoon, at that point you may have water in you or way too much food that hasn't been digested or used a lot more water in your muscle. All these things do make a difference in weight throughout the day. So I do it again every day in the morning, exact same scale, no water, no nothing. And it's currently at 188 and throughout the day it will fluctuate from 188 to 192. Now my current calorie intake is 3,200. And I know that is a big, big calorie um, amount. However, the way I started this program was by not moving a lot of variables because this is a progressive plan i think the biggest mistake people tend to do and i know i did this in the past whenever i started a, a fat loss challenge of any kind was that i just threw everything in you know i my cardio was going through the roof i put in the, all the steps you know calorie drop massively but i think this is a big mistake to go ahead and do from the beginning and i'll tell you why right now but right now my current calorie count is 3200 and I kept it like that purposefully because my workload didn't change either. The only thing that changed, I started eating more more cleanly. So what does this mean? I started eating a little bit more chicken breast. I don't need as much fat as I've been putting into my body. As of recently, I've cut out all my cheat meals, all the carbs that I don't need, all that has been replaced with a lot more protein. And the fats that I do keep are the healthy fats, such as my omega-3s. Mostly all of these come from, from the meat that I consume. And every now and then I'll add extra fats, but very, very sparingly. So that's how I've been hitting those 3,200 calories per day. 
and it's been working quite well. Now, as far as exercise goes, I've been doing my Muay Thai as always. I've been training my running, I've been training my Olympic lifting, and I've been training regular weights. People don't realize that when they lose a lot of fat, which this, this fat loss mission is by no means a small target it's actually a really big target if you think about it in the grand scheme of things it's a pretty big target especially if I plan to conserve a lot of muscle which I do because it's hard earned muscle and I'm now 31 and it's getting harder and harder to build muscle I particularly have uh, a very easy time putting on muscle I just have a harder time losing the weight so that's my caveat that life gave me you know everybody has a different one some people can go ahead and just shred fat but they can't put on muscle to save their lives I can go ahead and put on muscle quite easily and obviously that will decline over time that's just the way things work but I have a hard time losing fat so that just seems to be my situation I deal with it so with all my workload I've just been making sure that I've been putting in a consistent amount of work. All of my workouts are properly laid out and I have been laying them out and it's obviously been giving me some good results. But now, as of this update, I've also realized that something has happened. So what has happened, Zade? Now I've realized, even though I've kept everything the same now, now I finally hit a plateau. So I've been decreasing my body fat slowly and maintaining muscle at the same time but now we've come to a plateau and this is where those changes have to happen very minimal changes in my opinion so since i've hit this plateau where i've now kept at 188 and you know fluctuating but mainly keeping at 188 now i've gotten to this point of main gaining um, i've heard this from a lot of people so basically the idea is you're losing a very small amount of uh, fat which is not a bad thing but you're also putting on muscle this is ideally where you want to keep if you're in off season and you don't want to put on a massive amount of muscle but you don't want to also lose fat this is the perfect place to stay but not for a man on a fat loss mission and I'm currently on the fat loss mission and so what I have to do is start to lose a little bit more fat but let me better illustrate what's going on with some pictures of some of these results and you will be able to see that my traps are largely like they've gone a lot larger over the span of this fat loss and as of very recently as of in the last two weeks that's when i started seeing my traps really getting bigger my muscles are actually getting bigger so i know that i'm in this optimal spot to gain a little bit of muscle and lose a little bit of fat but there's not going to be a lot of definition right now i need a little bit more definition i'm not that worried about putting on muscle if i put on muscle i'll put it on a little bit later once again it's not a big problem to me but for once in a very long time now i actually want to cut so what do i need to do to continue on cutting and stop this main gaining which once again is not a bad thing i just it's not my the the goal that i have right now it's not the purpose that i'm aiming for at the moment so right off the bat my caloric intake is going to change from 3200 to 3000 period and i know that doesn't sound like a lot but once again it is very important to slowly cut off things when you hit these plateaus because 200 calories here or there does matter you know it's one to two protein shakes at least if you have a very clean protein that's 30 grams of protein like that's it's it's quite a bit it's about it can be anywhere from 60 grams of protein so it, it is it is a lot when you think about it in those terms you know actually like 50 depending on your protein but you guys get the idea the other thing that I'm adding is running two miles every day as I've told you I've kept everything the same as if I wasn't doing a lot of things so I have a lot of places to add or re or remove things if i needed to so i'm only going to add two miles which is about four thousand to three thousand extra steps per day which doesn't sound like a lot but it's actually pretty massive if you think about it, an extra three thousand steps or a two mile run depending on how fast i'm going again obviously some days i'm going to go faster than others it all depends but as long as i get those steps it is a good amount of calories that will be burned every day that will be expected to be burned and again depending on how fast i go it will burn more calories whether it's uh, faster obviously whether it's slower it'll burn less calories but i never walk these also every Every day I do 10,000 steps, period. Like that's not negotiable. So that hasn't changed from 10,000 steps plus the two miles in, it'll be a solid 13,000 to 14,000 steps. So that's again, that's a pretty big jump. And this will bring some good results. I can definitely assure you that. I've seen it in the past and it's small changes like this and everything else is gonna stay the same. 
Um, my training is going to stay the same. Nothing else is going to change. The only thing that's going to happen is every day there's going to be a two mile run, whether it's they are 10 minute miles or they are 15 minute miles or they are seven minute miles. It doesn't matter. There will be a two mile run every day along with my 10,000 steps and a 200 calorie deficit. All that combined is going to for sure make this change work and I will start losing fat. But once again, guys, this is only the first month and there's already a lot of changes that have been made and they're very visible. And for all those people out there, this is not a sprint. This is a marathon. I like to think about it as a marathon. Your body needs time to adapt to all these changes that you start implementing on it. So I like to give it an ample amount of time, but there is definitely a deadline. There's four months as a deadline. This is the first month. So this is phase one, cutting out the simple stuff, the fats, all the garbage food that I've been eating, all these little things were very obviously not helping me out boom that has made obviously a massive difference you can definitely see it in the before and after pictures and i'm super excited to show you guys the when the next month goes by obviously it's not super lean it's only a month guys but the ultimate goal in my opinion is to be able to make these changes and keep them as a sustainable change throughout the rest of my life and this is not depriving me of anything you know i still love the way i eat i like the way i train i feel good i still have a really good amount of energy and that is what i'm prioritizing with this fat loss mission along with keeping obviously a good amount of power and some muscle which is not an easy task but in any case guys i will be keeping you posted on the weekly basis that way you guys know how the fat loss mission is going how and how everything is starting to look but in any case guys thanks for joining me on another episode of sage experience comment down there if you like definitely give us a sub if you loved and i will be seeing you on the next episode guys Zate out peace